Hi Trinity, welcome to worship. If you're visiting us today or are new to Trinity, we'd like to extend a special welcome to you. We're grateful that you've chosen to worship with us today. If you'd like us to contact you, or you have a prayer request, or have any questions, please fill out an attendance card, or use the QR code on screen, and go to our website, trinityroselle.com, to fill out an online attendance card. Of course, we'd love to meet you in person, so please feel free to talk to an usher, uh, an elder, pastor, or any of us in the pews if you have any questions at all. This weekend, Sunday, September 29th at 3.30 in the afternoon, is the installation service for Reverend Keith Speaks as Trinity's intentional interim senior pastor. Hopefully, that is the last time I have to say that mouthful of a title. After today, Pastor Keith is our senior pastor, and that's really all we have to say. Everyone is invited to the installation service today, and if that's not enough, there's a pasta dinner in the Family Life Center following the service. We don't even have to go home and make dinner. Who doesn't like food? Please come and welcome Pastor Keith and Paula to Trinity. November 1st is our All Saints Day service, when we remember those who've gone to their eternal rest, especially those that we've lost in the past year. We will remember them by name during the church service, which will include special liturgy, music, and prayers. If you would like to have your loved one remembered at the All Saints Day Memorial Service, we ask you to fill out a form which you can find in the lobby, on our website at trinityroselle.com slash All Saints Day Memorial, or you can download it from the Trinity Takeout email newsletter or on Realm. There's also a place on the form where families may remember their loved ones with a special gift in their memory. But we want to make sure you know there is no quid pro quo involved here. It is not necessary to give a gift to have your loved one remembered at the service. We must have their information by Friday, October 18th to ensure that the names can be included in the printed memorial program for the service. This fall, we've kicked off our season of generosity by the great food donations that you've provided for the Roselle Community Food Drive. A big thank you to all who brought in food for our neighbors. But we are just getting started. Next week is Cereal Sunday, or should I say the next two weekends are Cereal Sundays. And we're asking you to bring in boxes of cereal that will be given out to our clients at the clinic in November. The second half of October will be the toy drive for the annual toy store. And in early November, we'll be accepting certain clothing donations for the clinic. But for the next two weeks, just think Cereal Sunday. You can drop cereal off in the lobby during the week or bring it right into church at Saturday and Sunday worship. Finally, remember next week is Trinity's Fall Festival, which will be fun for the whole family. I like alliteration. The Fall Festival is here at Trinity next Saturday, October 5th from 10 a.m. to noon. The whole community is invited, so bring your neighbors, your friends, relatives, your kids' friends, whoever. There's going to be games, a scavenger hunt, crafts, and concessions and probably more than that, but th that's all I know about anyway. We want lots of people to attend, but we still need people to help with a few things like decorating, running a basketball shooting game, card making, welcoming, the pumpkin launch, and the cleanup committee. Hmm, not sure what a pumpkin launch is, but that name does not make me want to volunteer for the cleanup committee. You can find more information on Realm, or at trinityroselle.com slash fallfestival. There's a lot of stuff going on this week. Pastor, let's worship. 